The attribute combine SOP is really useful when you have two attributes that you'd like to combine in some kind of way. So that can be by adding the two attribute values, you can subtract, you can find the maximum value between two attributes. We have all kinds of different functions on how to combine those attributes. And once those attributes are combined, then you can take that into a brand new attribute, or you can update an existing attribute with the new results. So here's what this looks like. I have a vase and I have two attributes that I like to combine. Right here is a height, which right now is just set to a value of one along all the points. And I also used an attribute for map, this texture map, to take the color values and store that as CD. What I'd like to do is I'd like to take the blue areas of the vase and I'd like to create an inset into the vase. In other words, I want the blue paint to go inside the vase. Now normally you would do this with some kind of displacement, but just to demonstrate what this does, let's say that you want this to happen to the actual geometry itself. Well, here in this point wrangle, I've specified that I want a red color. That's set to index number zero of CD. So that stores the red information of our texture map into this new attribute called red color. If I set the normals right here, we have everything we need to now use the attribute combine. At the top, we have the destination. For right now, I want to update the existing height attribute. So I'll say height right there. And then down here in the source, this is asking you for another attribute that you would like to mix. So in this case, let's use our red color. If I change the operation right here, this is saying to either add, subtract, multiply, divide this attribute by this attribute. And the results get stored here in the destination. If let's say I wanted a brand new attribute, let's call it mask or whatever you want to call it. And I want to, let's say, do another operation. I can press that plus icon right there. And now I could say we want to use heights and let's say add that to the red color. So in this case, let's start off by adding in heights and then I'll multiply against the red color. That means that areas of blue are going to have a low value and the result now gets stored in mask. Again, if I had height in there, it would then use height as the new destination. But let's say that I do that. And now we use a mountain sop. At first, it's going to affect everything. But if I go to the blend and I change this to our mask, as you can see, now we're only affecting the areas that are not color blue. So our amplitude, let's take that down to 0 0.05, something a bit more reasonable. And then let's also take the values positive right here so that we're only pushing outwards. Obviously this looks a bit jaggy, so we can use a smooth on let's say our mask attributes. But the point here is that if you want to take information from one attribute and another attribute to create something, a new attribute or update something, then that's when you use the attribute combine node. Let's go ahead and just wrap this up by let's say smoothing out our mask as an example. And there you go. Not perfect, obviously you can use some work, but the main point is that you now understand the attribute combine and generally what it's used for. For more videos that are thorough, simplified, and straight to the point, check out cgforge.com where you'll find resources, one-on-one -on -one consultations, and much more that's all designed to help you achieve your Houdini goals quickly. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.